Hey everyone, Mark here, and today is going to be a little different than a hunting or fishing review. I want to do a more fitness related uh, because fitness is such an important part and health is such an important part of my life. Um, I thought I would review something that I use daily. It's the Garmin Connect app and there were two things that I originally wanted to get out of a tracking type either software and device I use the vivo fit uh, or the vivo smart 4 yeah, I like it because it's a nice low profile uh, type device that tracks both the heart rate uh, that was important for me and my sleep and this basically this app will go in and as you wear it <coughs> tracks your your heart rate and for me at least it gives me a baseline as far as what my heart rate is um, how accurate it is um, I know the heart rate is very accurate um, I've tested it at a couple different places especially after going to the doctor and just getting heart rate and everything uh, measured I know it's fairly accurate and the other thing was sleep is was important for me and, and it's got some nice features where it, it actually will track my deep sleep my REM sleep and light sleep and even when I was awake throughout the night um, it'll track movement so sometimes you know as far as as far as checking to see how accurate it is um, I like to see how much movement I had whether or not I had a restless sleep and then it also will check the oxygen level, which is an interesting feature um, in my blood throughout the night. So um, originally that's what, uh, about a year and a half ago, is what I was going for, for a tracking device. I hadn't normally worn a device or um, was even interested in, in tracking all this, but as, as you know, as you start uh, getting into tracking, your biomarkers you look at research and a lot of the research that I was going after or, or looking at as far as my training and my recovery came down to sleep and then heart rate variability or heart rate um, were kind of in there as well well after some further research I, I did find some some research around heart rate variability or one thing that Garmin uh, I think should promote a little bit more but they actually do track heart rate variability <clears throat> in their stress metric on the Garmin Connect and um, for me I was really happy to see that because I had looked up HRV and HRV monitoring and I came up with a bunch of other devices that were much much more expensive and <clears throat> the Garmin um, devices that you can uh, wear and track heart rate and and the sleep like like I showed you um, they are fairly reasonable in price and so you can get up into higher priced models that have a lot more features um, but for me just to start out tracking HRV uh, heart rate variability it was uh, it was news to me that Garmin actually did it because they because I think they call it body stress or, or stress on the body um, and then ultimately what they do which is kind of nice it's called body battery yeah, it's right above the stress they take your sleep and your stress and they look at how much you've you've slept and rested and how much stress that you've had and they can they provide a metric as far as you know how charged is your battery and you can um, then for me is what I do is I take that and I can determine <clears throat> when I wake up in the morning um, how intense to make my workout well obviously I'm playing around with the different levels of the body battery um, like last night I had less sleep so my my body battery and my stress level my recovery was at a 96 yesterday it was at a hundred so um, it just helps me to decide how to go about my day so ultimately HRV though uh, why it was important for me and why I think that Garmin uh, should promote their stress and their body battery and their ultimately their HRV tracking 
is one, the devices are fairly inexpensive to start tracking it. There is also a recent article published by Harvard Health Publishing or Harvard Medical School. It kind of explains why heart rate variability is kind of that new metric as far as tracking your overall health. Um, basically looking at the time that's between the heartbeats and that information is actually is fed to your brain and supposedly it's kind of attached to your your nervous system basically can make decisions off of that whether or not you're in fight or flight mode um, but they're they're trying to do a lot of research around it now this is all research at this point it's fairly new but it's the devices are coming out to track it and <laughs> the information is also <clears throat> around it um, you know, people who have a higher HRV have a greater cardiovascular fitness. Um, they might be a little bit more resilient to stress, so handling those stressful situations. You know, I know for me, like I've I've run a lot in in the last years, and and I and I like running because of that feeling that's happening afterwards, and I just feel like I'm I'm able to take on a little bit more stress after after one of these these good runs. It says that uh, it says that research has shown a relationship between uh, low HRV and more depression or anxiety. Higher, you know, that, I guess that lends itself to say that higher HRV, um, you're able to deal with a little bit more of that that stress. Um, they say that low HRV has a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. So this is all research that's in this article. Uh, tracking the HRV, you know, maybe it may be a great tool to motivate behavioral change for some. Um, you know, it's a metric and it's something to, another metric to look at. And, you know, for me, it's just going, going a little bit off the metrics, but also feeling like, how do you feel? How does your gut feel? And if you're recovering after workouts, if you're feeling healthy, um, you know, that's ultimately what you want to go off of as far as how you feel. Um, after doing all this so something I wanted to share I think Garmin um, it's one thing that doesn't show up on searches when you look for HRV and HRV monitoring so um, you know at least it, it, it'll get you into tracking your health uh, giving making you just aware of it yeah so I hope this helped and if you get a chance, please subscribe. If you like these type of reviews, um, it's more training based versus, um, in this case, uh, training and health related. If you like this, please subscribe and I'll, I'll try and come up with a few more of these. Thanks.